Welcome in to Drew's Daily Diamond for Wednesday, November 6, 2024. I am Drew Martin breaking down the slate of games. We got Maction, two games coming your way here, both nationally televised games. So let me know where you agree, where you disagree in the comments below. It does help out the algorithm. All is welcome. Hey, if you're liking the content, smash that like button. We got 7 p.m. Eastern time on ESPN2 kicking us off here from Kalamazoo, Michigan. 58 degrees, light wind projected there. Waldo Stadium. It's Northern Illinois and Western Michigan University. It is Northern Illinois. The Huskies is the minus two point road favorites, 52 and a hook being the total. This is a Northern Illinois team. You might remember one of the biggest upsets in college football. They beat Notre Dame in early September, but, and this is a big but, just two and four since then. And even more importantly, one and three in MAC conference play. And they're up against the Western Michigan team that, yeah, in the big the big game matchups, you know, against Big Ten opponents, they lost to Wisconsin and Ohio State. But they're actually 3-0 at home, and they just won last week 38 to nothing at the end of the second quarter against Kent State. They ended up blowing them out, but I brought that up just because, you know, Kent State got some garbage points there. Um, Western Michigan actually out yarded Kent state by more than two to one, putting up 580 yards in that contest. This is the number one scoring total and rushing offense in the Mac conference. Their quarterback, Hayden Wolf, you know, multi-year starter. You might remember him 69% completion percentage and a 15 to three touchdown to interception ratio. I'm looking to bet on Western Michigan here. I think it's wrong team favored guys plus common opponents. Um, in MAC conference play, Northern Illinois and Western Michigan both played Buffalo and Ball State. Northern Illinois lost to both of them. Western Michigan beat both of them. I know A plus B doesn't always equal C in college football handicapping, but like to keep that in mind at this point in the season. Northern Illinois has not scored more than 24 points against any non FCS or FBS team not named UMass. I think they actually have it wrong team favored, guys. I think it's Western Michigan plus the two, like them on the money line as well. Roof, roof. I think the home dog's barking. It's Western Michigan, the Broncos in Kalamazoo for the first game up. We got one game left. Reminder, if you could comment below, it does help out the algorithm. All is welcome. Throw out any questions as well, where you agree, where you disagree. Try to do a question and answer uh, session here on this week's Maction Breakdowns. We got Tuesday and Wednesday nights for uh, what the month of November will be breaking them down. So uh, also got the recap. It's 51 and 35, 59% run the last six weeks, guys. Giving out for free on the YouTube channel. Do want to note, I'm doing this show right before the Tuesday night Mac, Mac games are kicking off. So I don't have those two games in the recap, but it is 51 and 35, 59% plus 12.2 units. So $100 better up more than $1,200, all for free on the YouTube channel. Check out Premium Picks, wagertalk.com, experts page, Drew Martin got a 4%er going on uh, Wednesday and a 5% max limit on Thursday already in. We'll have the Saturday and Sunday cards up too if you want to look at a 7-day, 30-day, rest of year discounted package as well. Experts page, Drew Martin, wagertalk.com. All right, got the last game here, guys, for Maction Wednesday, 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 o'clock Pacific on ESPNU. It is Ohio and Kent State, the Ohio Bobcats, minus 19-point road favorites, 52 being the total. This is Dick Stadium, Kent, Ohio. And I know a theme of the show here for Maction so far has been home dogs, uh, the underdog, you know, plus points. This one, I don't think I could get on Kent State, guys. I mean, first off, we get Ohio, 5-3 and three coming in. Kent State's 0-8. They're 2-6 and six against the spread. This might be the worst team in all of college football. Ohio, last week, they won 47-16, to 16, an impressive victory against Buffalo. And their only MAC loss was against Miami of Ohio a couple weeks ago. And they actually out-first-downed them by six first downs. They lost the turnover battle, minus two. Other than that, it was a pretty close game, so I don't want to kind of tick them too much for that. This Ohio team lost to Syracuse. Um, actually, I think they were within two scores of Syracuse. Now, they did get blown out by Kentucky, but they also beat South Alabama. That's a pretty decent South Alabama team outside of the MAC conference. Their quarterback, Navarro, you know, he's stepping in. He's also stepping up for Curtis Rourke, who transferred to Indiana. This guy's a dual threat quarterback. When you watch him play, he's got over 1,600 pass yards, over 500 rush yards in the season. And, and 
even breaking it down further, and I think this is important, in MAC conference play, you know, because Ohio played some uh, out-of-conference teams where you're usually stepping up talent-wise. In MAC conference play, he's averaging over eight yards per rush, which makes me think, you know, against these MAC defenses, he's seeing that his athleticism can kind of really help him here. He's averaging almost 10 yards per rush. I wouldn't be surprised if he runs the football a bunch against this Kent State defense. This Kent State team, they've played three quarterbacks so far. I don't really think it matters who's behind center. The guy who played last week, uh, he was all over the place, just over 40% completion percentage. They've lost by an average of 18 points per game in MAC play. And their defense, part of the reason I think Ohio is going to really run up the score here, guys, their defense is like the worst in college football. They're giving up 47 points a game. They've already given up 47 touchdowns. They gave up seven touchdowns last week alone to Western Michigan. Uh, they've gone more than 13 months without a win. I'm not a huge fan of, of laying points, particularly on the highway, but I, I think this is one guy. I think this ends up, you know, like, I don't know, 45 to seven, something of that nature. It's Ohio Bobcats minus the 19 here for the quote unquote nightcap, both going at the same time. Hopefully you have both TVs. So in recap, we're on Ohio minus 19 and Western Michigan plus the two, the home dog barking. Let me know in the comments below. If you're watching, smash that like button, guys. Thanks for tuning in. The quick show will be back on Thursday, breaking it down as well. So come back and join us. Drew's Daily Diamond for Wednesday, checking out. Until tomorrow, cash those tickets. Enjoy the rest of your Wednesday. Thanks for tuning in.